Hey puddin'! Forever is back and today I decided that I would just do a get ready with me type of video because I haven't done a makeup video in, in a couple of weeks. So yeah, that's that's what today is. So um it's kind of like a maroony type of look because there's maroon on my hat and my shirt and matching. <laughs> um yeah, so if you wanna see how to get this look, please keep watching. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting moisturizer on and it's basically just a lotion because I can't find a moisturizer that I actually like. So take your moisturizer of choice and slap that on. This is my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills in medium brown for my eyebrows. I gotta pluck them first because then, um, you know, we don't want no hairy scaries. This is just an angled brush that I'm using here. Next, I'm just going to use a stick concealer. I don't remember the brand, but I think it's Coverfix or something like that, but I'm just going to use a detail brush with that concealer to carve out my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to use my Ulta Beauty eyeshadow primer and a beauty blender to smooth it out. This is just a MAC eyeshadow, it's just a cream. I will list all of the eyeshadows down below because I do go kind of fast in this and I don't leave it long enough for you to see the names of them. And have a little dance party. <laughs> this is my meat mat. In Matt Kumara. Still having a dance party, by the way. <laughs> I'll do that multiple times throughout this video. But this is just a blending brush that I'm using to put matte all over my crease and in my outer corner. And this is just a dark brown, again by MAC. And I'm putting this just in the outer corner. Because it wasn't dark enough for me, I chose an even darker eyeshadow, again by MAC. This is my Ulta Beauty eyeshadow top coat in Fairy Princess. It's super sparkly. I'm going to use a wet brush to put this on. And I just sprayed it with some setting spray. This is my NYX um, liquid ink eyeliner, or epic ink eyeliner. 
but it's it's liquid. You you, you know what I meant. <laughs> And here I'm getting super frustrated because yeah it does that and it just overruns like I said before it just gives out way too much eyeliner but you know gotta use it up somehow right I'm gonna use my Maybelline mascara here. Honestly, just use your mascara of your choice. Um, I like this mascara, but Maybelline is not cruelty free, so I'm just trying to use it to use it up. Um, yeah. This is my Estee Lauder double wear foundation in sand. I made a funny face there because you can't see it and I realized that I have a cut on my knee. <laughs> Again this is a wet beauty blender. I'm just gonna put this all over my face. Honestly this is probably the longest part of my makeup routine is putting on foundation. <laughs> Everything else I can do fairly quickly, but foundation takes forever for me, for some reason. And I'm gonna fix my eyeliner because they weren't even... I'm too much a perfectionist to leave it alone. <laughs> And for some reason, my lighting makes my face look a different shade than the rest of my body, but I swear, it's just my mirror light. Again with that stick concealer, my T-zone, and underneath my eyes. This is my cream contour by Wet n Wild. And I put this on like ever so lightly because it's so dark for my skin tone and I didn't want a lot of product on my face. So if you do use like a darker shade oh dance party again if you use a darker shade i would suggest putting it on with a very very light hand just so you don't get way too much product this is my kat von d locket translucent powder and i'm using mermaid brush that i just ordered I love those brushes, by the way. This is my NYX HD Photo Finish Setting Powder. I like to use this one better underneath my eyes and on my nose because the Kat Von D one kind of... I do have, like, little... Like, my under eyes are kind of puffy, so it does break up, but that's why I use that one. These are my 207 lashes. Sorry I'm a bit behind, but with some dual lash glue, I'm going to put on my favorite 207s. I love these lashes. This is another part that takes me forever, though. Putting on lashes, so I'm going to speed it up even more because, you know, I don't want you to watch a 40-minute video like two weeks ago because, you know,
Like, do you see how long it takes me just to get one eye? <laughs> I swear. On lazy days, I'm just like, you know what? We're not even gonna put on lashes. It's too much work. And the other one. And still mess with that one. And take a drink. <laughs> you can tell I changed the song, can't you? <laughs> I'm gonna wipe off that bake. Again, with just the same brush that I used before. Taking a different one, I'm gonna put on my Tarte Blush in Party. I swear this is my favorite blush. And they don't carry it in normal sizes. This is just the birthday gift. I'm so upset. For highlight, oh no, <laughs> I put that away. <laughs> That's my plump, lip plumper, by the way. But highlight, I'm gonna use Pure Nude by Essence. This is one of my favorite, more subtle highlights, but it still gives you like a really nice glow. <laughs> As you can see, I'm totally in love with it. Just in all the normal places. I'm gonna put some more on my cheeks here. And my forehead. Using a tiny detail brush, I'm gonna put it in my eyebrows and on my crease. Well, brow bone, not eyebrows. You get me. A little bit more down my nose and on my lips and on my chin. Just some chapstick. This is me trying to figure out which lipstick I want to wear. I legit do this every day, you guys. Um. Here I'm lining my lips with just like an old lip liner that my mother gave me that she doesn't use anymore. If you don't want to line your lips, you don't have to do that. It's just easier for me to see where I'm going with my lipstick and get it more even if I line my lips. Now, this lipstick doesn't have like the brand on it so I'm really sorry that's what I was saying right there by the way but it's just kind of like a pinky maroonish darker type of color but it's not like super dark anyway but yeah I thought it would look good honestly you do you in what you want to do this is just what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set my face now this is my Revolution London setting spray that I absolutely am in love with and still fixing that lash. <laughs> Here I'm just putting a little bit of liquid eyeliner over my lash band because sometimes with the glue you can see it still and I just want everything to blend. Oh wow! Don't I look like Hermione Granger? That wild mane. I'm just gonna brush that out here. This is my Herbal Essence Dry Shampoo. I didn't wash my hair today, I wash my hair every other day. So thank God they invented dry shampoo, cause your girl gets kinda oily. I'm gonna brush out my hair again, cause Lord knows it got tangled. Again. There's too much of it and it's too long. I need a haircut. <laughs> I'm gonna 
gonna make a part right down the middle with a rat tail comb. I'm gonna put the other side up for now. And here I'm gonna fishtail braid. Um, it is quite simple. You're gonna take a piece of hair from the farther side of one side when you split it in half and just keep doing that. I'll slow it down for you here in a second. There we go. So you're just going to take one piece from the far end of one side and bring it over to the other side and then do the same with the other side and that's all you're going to do all the way down. Just like that. I'm going to speed this up a little bit more because your girl's got long hair and a lot of hair, so it's going to take a little bit. And when you get satisfied, with how long your braids are or with how much hair you've got then you can tie it off with a hair tie like I'm about to do and then just do the same on the other side and there you go I'm gonna throw on a dad hat because it's a dad hat kind of day. Well, <laughs> it got kind of dark in my room. Um, I have my window open and the sun just got covered up by clouds and it made me sad. So yeah, thank you guys for getting ready with me and I'll see you in the next video. Catch you next week, twins.